Haze is an ASTM method that's been defined for the analysis of plastics. However, there are many other people that use the same method to, to evaluate the haze of glass and other materials. So there are four measurements involved with performing a haze measurement. The first one simply involves running the correction file, essentially air, and then running that as a sample itself. So simply running air as a sample, meaning that we should see a, a transmission value of about 100% across the entire wavelength range, which for haze is defined to be 780 to 318 nanometers, meaning this is a color measurement. Once we've run the background, we can then use the integrating sphere to perform the measurements themselves. This is the 150 millimeter integrating sphere. This is an integral part of the Hayes protocol as defined by the ASTM method. So the first measurement of the three that needs to be done is with the sample in place in the transmission port. Here I have a piece of glass that's very hazy. We close the lid. In the reflectance port, we make sure that the spectral on puck, which should be very clean and replaced on an annual basis approximately, is placed in the back. And then I press go. Thus, we are essentially measuring the total transmission of the glass material. As you'll see on the screen, the transmission, total transmission for the sample is about 27% approximately, but that'll change as we go closer to the UV. So that was measurement T2. The second one is called T3. What do we do for T3? We remove the sample, and we also remove the spectral on puck. Why? We are simply measuring the stray light of the, of, the, of the system, how much light goes through the sphere. It's a very small number that will actually be scattered inside the sphere. We want to measure the amount of light that goes through completely. So the measurement that we're doing here will be very low. The transmission will be very, very low, but it's not zero. As you can see on the screen, it's fractions of a percent. Now this is required for the ASTM method calculation, which requires the luminous transmittance of a material, not the same thing as percent transmittance. So now that we've measured the stray light of the instrument, we're going to finally, for our fourth measurement, reinsert the sample itself into the transmission port, but leave the spectral on puck out. So what does that mean? We're going to be measuring diffuse transmission only. Any light that goes straight through is defined as specular transmission. That is being dumped out of the reflectance port. If we look at the data on the screen, we can see that this fourth scan it basically overlays with the second scan. In other words, diffuse transmission and total, total transmission are essentially the same, meaning there is no specular component. It's a very, very hazy sample. Once we finish this final scan, the software will output a haze value. And it should be very close to 100. Once the scan is finished, the software will then calculate manipulate the data, and we should end up with an output here that shows us the haze is 99%, a very hazy sample. And then we can continue on with the next set, set of samples.